Welcome back to Thumbfuckers, everyone. We got Kibbs here and our friend Max. After uh, Kibbs here eats his last bite of his pizza because he had to uh, mourn mourn the loss that we didn't even change the the screen from the other. I stared at it for a good five minutes just to really, really let it sink in. How? Revenge. Yeah. Now I know you have little kiddos in the house, but. Still cool to to visit in here. Okay. Mm. Mm. Remember this? Wow. I uh, saw that mic spike when I uh, the pop. Yeah, from mm. the from the pop in my juice. You get, you get wow, that thought was going nuts. I will pet you. It's like anything I put near my mouth. She wants something to do with it. She thinks it's food. and There's food in her bowl, so I don't really understand what her deal is. It's not food. Now, <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I'm really bad at uh, letting my dogs have table scraps. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, I don't know, just like, they look at me with those eyes. And it's just like, man, that's a real nice pork chop you got up there. <laughs> I know you're not going to eat all that grisly bits at the end. Why don't you go ahead and toss those down my way? Please, Master. The fat's good for me coat and shiny skin, I believe, see? I swear, is it? And, uh... It's true. Then I saw a video. I think it was a catfish coolie. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that fat redneck guy. Who just yeah. eats so much bad stuff. Like, he ate two Carolina Reapers. And chugged a fifth of fireball. He has no will to live. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta keep up his Instagram likes. Um if you don't know what the Carolina Reaper is, um the ghost the ghost chili pepper mm -hmm. is the hottest natural pepper to my knowledge. Right. The hottest natural pepper in the world. The Carolina Reaper was genetically engineered to be the spiciest pepper ever. And it's like ten times spicier than the ghost pepper. Right. And he ate two of them. Mm. That's a that's a spicy meatball. Yeah. Um, hold on. Um, maybe maybe we can throw up a picture of it. But if not, just Google Carolina Reaper, and it looks like this pepper has a hatred for all tongue kind. Looks like Aunt Ruby made it home. Aunt Ru Ruby has made it. But this pepper looks like it hates mankind's tongues. Is it like black and um, smoking a Cuban? No, it's like beet. It's the reddest thing you'll ever see in your life. Oh, dear Lord. It's like it's like this kind of middle finger almost. Yeah, and it's shaped in such a way that it looks like it's flipping your tongue off. Yeah. It looks... And the Guinness World Record holder, it looks like it got the oldest, pruniest, grumpiest one. Why does everybody want to kill me for? What did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Like it, like it had bad experiences with humans before. Really? It, it looks like it. Oh, I get you. Gary's ganja, man. Gary's ganja. 100% legal. Illegal. Just knock. Please, no police or solicitors. Because you know that's going to... Well, we aren't police or solicitors. I'm Biden Lord's friend, Steve. Go oh, fuck off. Oh yeah, get out of there. Ah, I tried. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, we just may have to leave the drug dealer out of it. You, you can get Ruby home. You can get the kill streak, and you can get the keyboard. But the drug dealer's right there. I know he's right he's there. Right fucking there. I know he's right there. We're just going to have to cut our losses because this is like the third episode that we've tried to do this. People like continuation. <laughs> they like continuation, just not of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. We were so concerned on whether or not we could, we'd never stop to ask ourselves if we should. <laughs> uh, Ian Malcolm. But no, Catfish Cooley, uh, he 
he was he made a video where he was comparing different brands of dog food. So he got two cans of wet dog food. And he got like the cheap one. Yeah, you didn't kill him. Get it. He got like the cheap dog food and he got like some expensive dog food. Mm -hmm. And he tried them both. And it was the funniest thing because he ate the cheap dog food and he started like gagging. Really? Because humans aren't going to eat it, so it's not supposed to taste like normal human food. Well, it shouldn't. I mean, yeah, if it, it does, then your palate has you have quite a dog's the problem. Palate. Yeah, you have a dog's palate. Yeah. Like, so, you should probably lick your own ass and see if you get satisfied from that. <laughs> so he's, like, eating it. He's, like, gagging really hard. And, uh, uh, then he was like, alright, now I'm gonna move on over to the expensive dog food. This one was, like, easily twice as expensive as there's that old Roy over there. <clears throat> and he eats it. He gets like a bite into it. And he's like, I knew it. I knew it. They both taste like shit. Ugh. Ah, bullshit. God damn it. Bullshit. God damn it. And he's just like screaming. They both taste like shit. God damn. Make a dog a steak or something. That's why they're always looking at you like that. Because they gotta eat that every day of their lives. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, I'm gonna go tell my dog I love him. If I had to do this too, I would. I would beg and whine all day. So yeah, I give table scraps my dogs. And occasionally I'll make another steak to dice up to share between my dogs. Or aren't you just like a good dog Samaritan? I am a good dog Samaritan. I don't know, man. Just, it's like my sister's dog. She's cute. She knows what she's doing. My sister's dog knows that she's cute. And I was say, you're talking about your sister? Your sister's my, dog here. My sister's dog. <laughs> my sister's dog is like the tiniest, cutest Yorkie Poo. And she has like the big teddy bear eyes and she'll look at you when you're eating something and you just got to give her a bite. You don't got to, but you just do for some reason. Yeah. Because if you don't, then that looks going to haunt you for the rest of your days. Yeah. And then the other dog we have, he's, an, he, I guess he's an outside dog, but he's not a big dog. He's right. a teeny tiny Maltese. He's blind and he's pretty sure he's retarded in some form or fashion. Yeah. And I just pity the little guy. So, I hated the wee man. Yeah. So I give him steaks. Wow. They really hate you. Yeah. For good reasons, probably. I mean, I just did, I did kill, like, everybody. All of their friends. Yeah. Like, and because we need to get away from this fucking level, there's the end of that level. Still, still the, the mayor of England. I'll catch you next time. Catch it. <laughs> Fuck you. This is Mike. We got Mike. Got Mike. Mike looks. He fun. looks like he's got a bit of a, a droopy, trying. droopy problem there. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell since the space is four pixels, but. He's got a knife in one hand, and he's stabbing the table repeatedly. He's vegan. We'll make an exception for a fish dinner. I think he's going to fit right in with the Bunny Lord Fun Club. He seems like he may. I did not read any of Mike's bio. Uh, <laughs> I was just busy trying to see if he was, like, if he's seen some shit in Nam or if he was retarded. Look like he had Down Syndrome. Look like he had Down Syndrome? Yeah. I don't know. You make friends with my, my other dog. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The dog's that down? Uh, he, he's not downy, but he's definitely, like, I think it's just because he's a little bit blind, so he's just, like, not all up there. It's just, like, he jumps at every single thing. Well, yeah, because he's blind. Yeah, but he's, like, so paranoid. He's, like, yeah, because he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make this sentence better? He's blind. You failed. <laughs> kind of blind. He's got like four foot sight radius. <laughs> uh, Kill here. 
uh, like shoot his face. Apparently, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, we've been trying. No, uh, I know we haven't been reading this stuff, but I did say something about slide tackle. When I do that a lot, anyway, so just because it's so much quicker. It is. Yeah. Look at that little Nico. A Nico, Nico. A Niki, Nico. I always love those little dolls at the Japanese restaurants that are waving to you. Really, really fast. Deadly shotgun with only two shots. Wow. Fast silent executions, vegan. Well, of course. He's over there by the guy. His name's written in the back of the wall. He's just kind of. Did you notice there's a cat next to uh, Cletus the whole time? On the back of the couch? I did not. I want to pet that cat now. Yeah. Oh. Mike's gonna fuck us up. Hey, you guys. <laughs> He's like Batman. Oh, Jesus. He didn't break his legs, so, uh, that's a good thing. Or maybe that was a scripted thing. So, like, oh, Jesus. I should really be careful. Yeah. He throws his knife up, stabs at the ground, and then he loads his shotgun, and then he picks his knife up. <laughs> and his execution was actually his knife stabbing back down. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to get punched, apparently. Yeah, you were not supposed to get punched. And you're also supposed to do this in less than 100 shots. Wow. <laughs> I keep forgetting about the tanks there. Oh, there's the Nico. Yeah. You're supposed to find that. Get to it though. Found it though. I was like when I said that he had a shotgun with only two shots. I about said, "Wow, what dumbass shotgun only has two shots?" And I was like, "Check out Doom on Cube Studio and see Max here shoot a super shotgun that only shoots two shots at a time." <laughs> I know. <laughs> I I caught myself. I was like, "Wait a minute." A lot of shotguns only have two shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That was that was classic. Oh. Mike's wow. dead. You got Robocop. Big time. He's like an unintelligible Scottish man. That's what it seems like. I mean He's like he's like the, the Scott from Samurai Jack, just I could by the way, excellent scene from John DiMaggio. Oh, yeah? yeah. I've met John DiMaggio. Have you? Yeah. I uh, went to Comic-Con and he signed a, a pair of shiny silver uh, pleather pants for me. That's right. Yeah. Um, you almost didn't get him signed because of that reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure if I just brought them. He would have signed them, but it was the fact that I was wearing them, uh, which was at, uh, at RoboCop again, which, um, you know, like I was joking like the entire week up to Comic-Con, like, oh, I'm going to oh, wear the pants. I spilled the water. Oh, well, I was joking like, oh man, I'm going to wear the pants and uh, have John DiMaggio sign the pants while I'm wearing them. Right. Remember that. Yeah. And, uh, and then like the day of like me like going to go to John DiMaggio's booth I was like getting dressed that day and I was like in my shorts I was like holding the pants and I was like looking around at the other guys and just like I don't know man I think I'm just going to take the pants because I had other pants I could wear yeah so I was like I think I'm just going to take these in the bag and call it good yeah just call it good and I'm just like everybody peer pressured me like oh no you gotta wear them and then you gotta say sign my shiny little ass you're not cool until you pee your pants kind of thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, like, I caved. I, I totally caved because it was Nate, uh, Kendall, Zach, and Kaylee, and they were all like, you got to wear the pants. And so I was like, okay. I don't got to wear shit. I guess I, right. got, I guess I got to wear the pants. Mm -hmm. So I wore the pants, and I stood in line, and I get up there, and uh, they had, like, pictures of, like, all of John DiMaggio's best characters. Like, he was uh, the Joker uh -huh. in uh, that one Batman uh, movie. Uh, he was Bender, obviously. He was 
Jake the Dog. Oh, fuckers. Damn. I think they even had like a Scotsman, like a Scotsman uh, picture up there that you know you could have him sign. Yeah. And uh, they were like, "All right, so uh, which one of these pictures would you like him to sign?" And uh, I was like, "I uh, actually brought uh, my own item." And I'm like, "Okay, uh, what, what, what is it?" And I like lifted my leg up so that way they could, <laughs> so they could see my knee. And it's just like I I brought some shiny metal pants. <laughs> And they were like, "You made me giggle, died. Yeah. <laughs> I lifted up my leg to show them my shiny metal pants. I was like, "I, I brought uh, a, a warm son's pair of pants." And they were like, "Okay, I guess that's fine." But word of warning for the future: if you want something signed by somebody uh, here at a booth, don't wear it. And like, I was about to say, "Okay." Like, in my head, I'm like, okay, that reaction is not a very uh, friendly reaction to, you know, <laughs> to this. And then I was going over in my head, and I'm just like, wow, this is actually very inappropriate. And I almost was like, I think I'm going to take a picture. But they, like, ushered me on through before I could pick a picture. Yeah. And I'm just, like, sitting there, and there's John DiMaggio, and he's like, hey, bub, what can I sign for you? And I, uh... Lifted up my leg and I was like, can you, shine my, can you sign my shiny metal pants? And he just had this look of, ah, uh, shit. Yeah. Let him through. <laughs> yeah, he was none too amused. He signed it and uh, he uh, had a signature and uh, he kind of wrote out, bite my shiny metal pants. Bender B R. Bender Rodriguez. Bender Bending Rodriguez. And he wrote that out on there. I was like, wow. He got him this time. Hey. And I was like, wow. He uh, he really did power through that really, really incredibly awkward situation. Just for my meme. Your meme? My meme. And, Did you uh, make a meme out of it? I made a meme out of it. And uh, I actually have those pants on display now. And, so they had uh, like in a shadow box or something? Yeah. They're actually oh, sitting. Jesus. Holy. Take, take the cover. Yeah, they, they Aloha snack barred you good. You are not getting the under. Fuck no, I'm not. Wow. I thought it was Bunny Lord. It was, just like, it was like the same colored band and everything, you know? Just like, oh, is there like an emergency piece of news? Nope. But no, uh, John DiMaggio, if you're watching this, uh, I'm sorry. I uh, that was a dare. <laughs> that was a dare. That was that was a dare. At that point, I was already committed to not wearing them. Peer pressure is a bitch. And uh, thanks for signing them. Oh, blow up, you son of a bitch, you. Yeah. Didn't get the. Didn't get a single fucking challenge. Didn't get the Maneki Nico. No, I wanted to get away from that now. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we've learned when to quit now. She looks pretty much bloodied up, doesn't she? Yeah, she looks. Must like, have finished the level like where she was almost dead. Yeah, like really got the shit kicked out of you. Ooh. But no, uh, if John DiMaggio is not watching this, but you know John DiMaggio. Please tell him. I'm very grateful that he put up with my shit. Shiny metal pants guy. Sorry, but grateful. I'm very sorry, but very grateful. If I had to do it over again, I would not be wearing the pants. And I would have had you sign the ass into the pants. But... <laughs> but That's... things have already passed. Shit happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more, and... Perhaps we'll get done with this series on the next five episodes. Five? That sounds like a challenge, huh? Five? That's it. It's some realistic goals. Ten. Fuck.